All right, let's talk about fuel tanks. There we go. That'll work. I wanted to use a used tank for this just because I got plenty of them around here, but I didn't have one that I wanted that had the capacity that I wanted. I want at least a minimum of a 12 ounce fuel tank and a 60 size glow plane. 14 ounce, a little better. It gives you an extra couple minutes of flight time. Um, you know, having a bigger tank is to me not that big of a deal. Uh, you don't always, I don't always fly my full tanks out. So anyways, you got different tanks. I got this brand new uh, Sullivan, wherever the thing went, right here. Uh, new old stock Sullivan slant style tank. 12 ounces in size. Um, you have different tanks. This is a Sullivan round tank. Let's see how it's round. And then um, they also have standard tanks. I mean, you got lots of, this is, I mean, this is obviously too small. This is a 8 ounce tank. This would be good for like a, a 40 size plane. Um, you can go to 6 ounce for a 40 size plane too. This would be considered oversized in my book for a 40 size plane. Um, you know, you could put it 8 ounce on like a, a 61 four stroke because they're a little more fuel efficient. So anyways, I thought I'd, I'd, I haven't shown you guys how I build tanks. Um, so this is what you get in a package is like this. You get a couple pieces of brass tubing. You get um, a clunk. You get some wire, a screw, a stopper, and a nose piece. I'm not sure what you would call that, but just the piece that goes over the top of the front of the tank. And they, you do have to build these. I mean, you can go out and buy... Um, pre-made tanks in my opinion are kind of expensive and it really doesn't take a, uh, a whole lot of time to build one so I always start with bending my uh, you do have to bend you can see up here in the top there's a there's a dome right there and that's where you want your vent this gets hooked up to your muffler pressure and you have to put a 90 or so in it. So I have here a Dubro um, a fuel tubing bender. It's made for the building these style tanks. You just slide that in there like that. And you can bend it. I'm going to make a mark. And so what I'm doing here is it's going to come out, come out the top there. And it's at a 45. And I'm pretty much going to want to come right out, so maybe about right there. This ain't, gotta, this ain't rocket science, you don't have to be perfect here, but you got to figure we're at a 45. I don't even quite see that right. Let's go ahead and start bending this tube. It'll just go nice and easy. You don't want to flat spot it so there we're at a 45 or 90 thereabouts let's check it there we go quite a bit more I think when you're dealing with these slant tanks pretty much going to be bending it a little farther over 90 I think I'm just going to go a hair bit more there you go. Pull that out. And you can see how nice that bent that. A little flat, but not bad. The material's got to go somewhere, right? So anyways, if you don't have one of these, you, this is not a requirement. I just got one of these uh, actually about four or five years ago. Um, what you can do to bend, um, bend a piece of... Uh, tubing here. Dang it, I don't have the right style knife. <laughs> um, you take a, you can take a, a soft exacto knife. I guess we could probably do it like this. And, I don't know if you can see this or not, what I'm doing here. I kind of got it on the edge of the building table. You want to kind of roll it and pick up on it. If you have a softer, a soft exacto knife blade handle that's 
got the soft grip all the way through it. I don't remember who makes one. I need to replace mine. But you can start putting a bend in that. And while it takes a little longer, your bends take a little more room to make. Uh, you can get a bend and do exactly what I did here with this. So anyways, you got a three. This is you can set this up for a three 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 fuel system fuel three line fuel system. Um, you got two holes in the front, one in the center. These two are for your vent and your fuel line. This is for your screw, and in the back you'll have three. One of them's capped off. The reason why they cap one of them off on the front here, because you you know it would be right there, is not a lot of guys run three three line fuel systems. Now a three line fuel system is for filling the third line is for filling the tank um, when you're in a, like a scale plane or you got a remote fuel fuel dot or whatnot. You can put another line in this. I usually run a clunk in the, the third line also when I run a three line system. Uh, that way you can drain the fuel out of it too because if your engine's cowed in they sometimes the feed line to fill and drain your tanks can be a pain to get to uh, inside of a cowled uh, situation so anyways we're not going to run a three three line fuel tank Let's if I can spit it out um, so I'm just going to leave that the way it is I'm, I'm not going to run extra so anyways I'm going to go ahead I always run my vent tanks on my vent lines on the uh, right side of the plane and my fuel on the left the reason for that is usually the, the exhaust comes out the right side of the plane um, I uh, I try to keep in habit of um, of putting uh, uh, setting my tanks up all the same so that way you know if, if you you know grab whether you're grab, flying one plane over the other they all feel up the same so anyways we're gonna go ahead and slide this together this is our back plate put that on first and then you slide your copper tubing into the plunge plug here and I know we got to be pretty far deep on this just by lining it up with the side of the tank something like that okay that's what you end up with so we're gonna go ahead and eyeball this I'm just eyeballing this on the side of the tank See if I can get you in view here. There we go. Just eyeballing it. I want to end up so my line is in that little bubble. A little patience here and you can get it. So anyways, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to line this up. And I said that about half a million times. Grab my X-Acto knife. Just make a mark with my knife. You can you won't be able to see it, but it's there. And then to cut this line, line it up on your mark with an exacto knife and just roll it. That's all you gotta do. Come on. I don't know why it's, I got to grab the, here we go. Just roll it back and forth. And then eventually that'll happen. It'll cut through. And break it off. And all we're doing is trying to get it to where it's pretty close. And then you can, once you got it kind of close, you can feed that in there. This is really hard to show. I didn't think that this would be that hard to hard to do. Keep in mind, this is just the vent. You can usually... I put that in the wrong. I sure did. <laughs> Pull this back out.
Yeah, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, there we go. Now I got it in the right side. The correct side, I should say. So anyways, that's what you, you know, with something like that. And then, if I had a light here, <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. But it's in there. If you hold the tank up to the up to your LED light bulbs that you're supposed to have in your shop so you can see things. <laughs> or you can shine a flashlight in there. You can see where that is going. So we're, we're good there. So that's good. That's what we're ending up with. That's what's going to be on the inside of the tank. Like I said, our vent line. You want it in that little bubble up there because as soon as the fuel tank gets full, it's going to shoot out of here and tell you that it's full. So the next thing we're going to do, straighten this little bit out here, is go ahead and run our clunk line. Now this doesn't have to be near as long. You just want to get, get through the, the stopper here and out the side. So this one you can cut right away. Go ahead and Cut this line. There we go. We'll shoot this through here. Now if you have a round tank or a standard, not a slant style tank where it's got some protection in the front. Um what you need to do is is you would probably leave you would leave this line long like as long as it was because you're going to want to put you know a bend in the front 45 90 something along those lines um so that way you can uh uh get it away from the firewall you don't want any you don't want your your fuel line to be um you know kinked in there so that's what we end up with there that's our fuel that's our feed line remember you're seeing an opposite of this so anyways the next step is to take this rubber line here this comes in the kit. This is rubber. This isn't the hard plastic one. Okay. And you want to feed this on there pretty far. You don't want to have this falling off. Like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the outside of the tank. Like so. You can see we're pretty far down. This is so we'll feed this on here. This is our clunk. This is weighted. It keeps uh, keeps the uh, fuel the, the the fuel line in the fuel while you're flying. This is a bit of a pain to do because it's quite a bit smaller, but it fits on there pretty snug. Clunk. Let's go ahead and put it back in here. And see now you got two lines, so you'll have to hink her over, feed her in. Oh. Okay, so that doesn't I'm surprised we didn't have to cut that. I don't know if you can see that down in there. I 
there it is. You want to you want it to flow free in the corners. Okay. Something like that. Now that we got that done, we can put the top on. Oh no, we're not done yet. Oops. Almost forgot. So we'll pull that back out. Make sure your uh, your feed line here isn't too long coming out because if it's too long then you won't be able to negotiate that turn in there and you want to make sure that you don't have any burrs on this end because nothing worse than uh, you know getting your you know just blow a half a tank and suck in air <laughs> so anyways now we're going to since this is this part is done and these are the little wires I was telling you about yeah these are optional I've, I've sometimes I um, I don't always run them but anyways what I am going to on this thing because it's you know there again it's not a bad idea to have this stuff in here to hold your wires so I'm just gonna horseshoe shape that around I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, there it is. And then I'm just going to twist tie this. A pair of pliers is helpful. Get it started. Grab it like that. Twist. You want to pull it into the fuel tank. Pull it into the fuel line. Kind of like that. There you go. And then I'm just going to bend these back. I just did a couple twist ties. Now you can do that on there. And then you can do it on your clunk. When I do it on the clunk, I try to make sure I pick up. You can see the little ribs in there. And I try to get it in there. Get it in those little, little, little ribs in there. Like that. our final next thing you can do something that I'd, sometimes like I said there's lots of ways to build a tank and you don't have to do it this exact way that goes on that's our top the screw goes down through the middle I'm just gonna get it started started that's what you end up with there and throw this in that one through there like so make sure we're lining up our you can see Clunks right to, the, the vent tube is just off to the side. You can barely see it in there. So we're gonna turn it. If it ain't quite up in there, you can finesse it just a little bit and get it in that dome. And we'll go ahead and tighten up our, our center screw here. You are making threads in this thing, so you gotta keep that in mind. I'm 
me double check everything one more time here. Make sure our it is. It's right in the middle. That's good. You can get good at this with practice. I've built hundreds of tanks. <laughs> My dad didn't care to build tanks, so I got a lot of practice early on. You don't want to, you want this tight. It won't, if you get it nice and snug, it won't vibrate out. Now, this is the screw I always talk about in my twins. It always seems to uh, get loose and get fuel leakage around the, the top here. Well, that's coming out real nice. This is going to be a nice tank. I'm just snugging it up. You don't want to over tight it because you could split the tank. There we go. That's good. I want to make sure this doesn't move. So what happens is, is it grabs that piece of plastic in the back. And as you screw it, 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 it collapses that piece of rubber in there. And as it collapses that piece of rubber, it tightens up around the outside edge here. Now you could go through and clean this up. I usually don't bother the outside of it. It doesn't really matter a whole lot. Um, so there you go. That's uh, building a 12 ounce style um, slant, st slant tank from Sullivan. Um, you can get tanks from Debro, Sullivan. Uh, I'm not sure if Six still makes them or not, but uh, um, lots of tank options out there. Get your measurements on the nose of your planes and you know, there's there's always an option. I mean, here's the one off of the fun fly, and this is called a pylon tank. This is from Debro, much of the same style. This is just a four ounce tank. Now, this doesn't have a uh, a top a, a button in it, so it's just getting it as close to, as you can to the top of the tank. You can buy. Um, don't be scared to buy tanks that. Uh, uh, used also um, you can get Sullivan and du both Dubro make rebuild kits for these where you get a new stopper you can convert these over to use them in gas gas planes it's a different stopper inside um, I use some of them. I also use Sullivan and Dubro tanks in my big Mokies uh, you can uh, get different size brass drill it out so you can get more fuel uh, going to the plane especially if you got big two-stroke glow engines um, they they really need that extra extra size to uh, to to run properly. Um, so anyways, there's uh, building a uh, like I said, bu building a uh, Sullivan style tank. Pretty good tanks. They last a long time. So, anyways, if you guys have any uh, comments or questions, uh, uh, please uh, comment down below. I'm gonna probably just post this up as an individual. Uh, uh, I'll post this up as an individual uh, video. So. Uh, um you guys can see how you build a tank so anyways hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next one